This is cool. This is really cool. I like having motion on the station. I, I think that adds a lot. Ahoy, salty dogs. Lenscap here. Welcome to the Star Squadron server. Um, here, let me show you my skin. What up? <laughs> okay, I uh, have a visitor. Um, there's a ship there. And I saw two overheating modules a second ago, but I don't see them overheating anymore, so I don't know what that's what's going on with that. I don't I don't know who this is. I don't somebody came to see us. Let's see, I, I need to hop out of my gravity real fast. Uh, so we can fly out of the end of the station here. Hey! Ahoy! Hola! Oh, okay. Okay, sure. I guess it's Gmodism. I guess he's leaving a ship here for a while. Hmm. I see you there. Just be aware that I know you're here and I see it. Cargo. What were these overheating... A droid delivering my special goods. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Where are the goods? Ah, thank you. I don't know where the goods are. I guess we'll just wait and see. Hmm. Am I going to be able to pilot this ship and move it out of my shipyard? Ah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's go work on this project I'm working on a little bit more. I'm going to hop back into gravity. So, I'm trying to put one of the robots um, into the control room. I want it to, like, stop and read panels and stuff. Um, I think that would be cool. Uh, there's the cap bot, cap bot 4, right over there. Um, right now, it's almost finished. Uh, it's almost ready to go. I've, I think I've got the pathing right. Um, I was just moving a door. <laughs> there was a door in the way, so I had to move a door. Um, I ran into a snag where I put all the rails down, did all the logic, and then it wouldn't turn for some reason. I was like, that's weird. Why isn't it turning? Oh, it's hitting the wall. <laughs> Whoops. So I decided it would be easier to move the entire wall <laughs> than to, uh, later Gmod, <laughs> than, to, uh, than to move the tracks and the rails. So um, I think I've got it working now. Um, currently, I am in the process of removing this doorway. And we'll place the doorway again as soon as we decide that uh, we we know where it's gonna go. For now, we'll just leave it. Yeah, we'll have to remove that stuff too. Uh, but I think this robot should work. I don't know why build mode had me in some weird lighten situation. Um, but okay, let's hop back in this robot so we can dock him. Let's see which way we're we going. We're going this way. Whoops, that's not where we wanted to dock. We want to dock here. That way we're facing the right way. Okay. Should turn. Should turn again. I figure... I haven't put in the wall panels yet. Um, I figured I would do that... Uh, in a second. I get the robot working first, which it appears... He's still not quite rotating properly. It's gonna need a little more figuring. Aha. Okay. I figured it out. I had uh, had this rotator that's on the end here hooked up wrong. I always do this. I'm not sure why I why I want it to be this way, but I always want to select uh, the one it changes to and not the block itself when I pick the uh, activation modules. So this should resolve our uh, resolve our rotational issues. I may have to redock this guy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. So we will undock 
and we'll uh, let's see we need to be facing this way so we'll redock him here and that should fix it um, so he'll have a little bit of motion I need to adjust the delay on this because he just kind of turns and continues on I need to fix that too um, he's supposed to turn and sit there for a second oh and that's weird too okay we're gonna have to mess with a couple of things <laughs> Uh, why'd he stop? It was working. Oh, son of a gun. What happened? Okay, that's weird. It's not active. Okay. Why won't it activate this delay now? So I gotta remove this delay and place it again and then hook it back up? Logic is weird sometimes. Okay, but now he's working. So he'll stop here for a tick. We gotta put in monitors and stuff. Does he stand there long enough? Yeah, he's just gotta take a, check a screen. Um, let's add some decoration. We're gonna need some servers. Some charts, maybe. Some screens. And we'll just throw some stuff in. I'll figure out what to do about this door, too. Maybe we'll have to push this whole wall back as well. Uh, that would be okay. We have to do that. Um, let's figure this out first, though. So what do we need here? We want... So we need, like, a screen here. And maybe we put in two screens right here. Gotta have server racks everywhere, right? Servers, all, all the server things. Server all the things. So we need that. Uh, you know what we could do, could be cool, is if we put, like, an input terminal... Um, what could we use for that? Do we have... Mm, we could use... We could use dark gray standard armor. That would work. I figure we do a wedge. Um, like, an, like a wedge like this. And then he has like a little keyboard or something. Just imagine there's a keyboard on top, I guess. Uh, he still should be able to manipulate around that. Okay, we'll need to put something here. Let's put a green screen for him here and some charts. Little movie bits. I always like the moving parts. Um, I like the moving server racks a little bit better. Put lots of server racks there. This is cool. This is really cool. I like having motion on the station. I, I think that adds a lot. Alright, so we'll add a decorative computer here. Maybe we put some more charts, and then server racks. Cool. That looks cool. We'll figure out this door thing later on. Uh, for now, let's just take our blue standard armor and fill in the holes. And then we'll, we'll figure that out some other time. Okay, let's hop out of the build block. Um, I think I figured out what Gmodism was doing here. Um, I need nearby gravity. I don't need nearby gravity. Let's go ahead and just hop up this elevator. This elevator needs lights in it, doesn't it? Um, okay, so I, I noticed that he actually left us two ships. So I think what it is, we're just going to hop in a core so we can be a little bit more speedy. I think what it is, he said his ship took some sun damage, so he's going to leave it here for a little bit. But it looks like this is actually his ship that he left here. Um, we might hop in it and park it for him on uh, one of these side docks. We might do that for him. Um, but this over here appear appears to be like a cargo container, um, like his version of cargo containers, which this actually works uh, pretty well. This is a very functional cargo container. Um, let's take a look and see what he left us. I wonder, it doesn't look like there's much here. I can use it. Oh. Mineral separator. Blue poison. Oh, green lava. Death star core. Black lava. Green water. And some mules. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just take all these. Well. Let's see. What do we take? I don't want to take all these yet. 
because I'm going to do this. I'm going to put them in my regular inventory so we can put them uh, in a special place since they're special blocks. We don't want contraband mixed in with the other stuff. I want to take a look at these blocks really quick and see what we ended up getting. I appreciate the yoles too. Some people say Y hole, but there's no dash. Uh, oh, because I have my build prohibitor turned on. That's right. <laughs> now I should be able to... Okay. So it's just brown. This is called green water. Death Star Core. Error, this item cannot be placed. I like that. Black Lava. Oh, are they all just brown? Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Those are rare blocks indeed. I'll take some rare blocks. Anyway, guys, let's head over to the shipyard so we can start on our actual uh, project for this video. <laughs> I know that we're uh, already halfway through it, so maybe not the actual project, but another project? I don't know. I like to always do multiple things in my videos, so um, I guess we're doing something else. Today, we are going to start on... Are you ready? We're going to start on the pod mining ship. That's right. Uh, so we're going to build, we're going to place an order, create new design, pod miner. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. And I don't know yet what we're going to name this ship. I think once it's finished, I might get you guys to suggest names for me. Um, and, and we'll pick one of those. Don't uh, don't suggest any names yet, though. We want to see the ship, you know. it's hard. You can't really name a ship unless you know what you're trying to name, right? <laughs> so until we can actually see it finished... Uh, we don't want to try and name it. Now, I don't think I'll be able to finish this this episode, but we do want to start on it. Um, so there are a couple of things I want to consider um, before we really like start building. One of those is that I'm not a very good builder. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can make cool looking ships, but I, I'm really slow at it. Uh, so I'm not very fast. I, I kind of have to take my time and and really think things through before I get a good idea of what I want it to look like, which is why I don't do very much building on camera. Um, but uh, I feel like we're probably going to make something similar to the uh, to the eyes and ears that we made. Um, I'm thinking it'll be about twice as big, probably closer to the size of the Lancer. Um, obviously, we're going to put a salvage gun in it, which is going to be about the same size as the Lancer salvage gun. So it'll probably have a module like this. Um, I think we're going to make it ASIM. We'll make it opposite of this one, though, so that the, um, the like, piloting and, uh, uh, I guess, living quarters are on this side of it. Kind of like, kind of like this would be. Um, and then we'll have, like, a cockpit um, where the core is in the front. Um, behind that, we'll put a living quarters, probably something similar to what the eyes and ears have. And then behind that, we're going to put our um, storage pod placement thing. Uh, <laughs> um, once we've got, because once we've got the ship done, we can continue building the station. But until I know what the ship is going to look like, I don't know how to load the pods into the ship. So this is our next step for getting the station working as well. So I'm going to build some stuff, maybe get some things laid down, place a couple of blocks, and we'll take a look at what I come up with. So the cockpit of the ship is starting to take shape. Let me get rid of the symmetry plane. And I feel like we've got something kind of interesting going on here. So we've got, here's the like captain's chair. I've got two buttons easily accessible from the chair. Um, I know we're going to need a salvage beam, uh, you know, because it's a salvager. We'll need antimatter cannons so we can run the salvager constantly. So I went ahead and put the computers here. Um, like here's the view from the cockpit. And there's a camera right there, so that's actually what we're going to see uh, when we look through it. It's going to be like this, which I think that's cool. Um, obviously, there'll be some more things filled in along the sides, but I think that'll be cool. We can probably put a drive camera um, underneath here, maybe 
maybe like that as well um, just so that we've got a camera you know that's not completely obscured just you know for for uh, convenience sake um, we may even be able to put it here actually uh, that would work too and then it's a little even less construed although we get the weird gray hmm but that's not so bad I mean that's that's not so bad we could even oh we could even resolve the weird grayness howdy I said howdy to Garth like 20 minutes ago <laughs> or more uh, we could even resolve the weird gray wedges by removing them completely and putting these in their place. That actually works out really well. Let's uh, let's take a look from the camera view now. Yeah, I like that much better. And then we still have like a cockpit feeling view. Um, yes, yes, there we go. So there's our drive camera. That's awesome. Um, I figured, I thought it would be a cool idea to have the cockpit be like raised kind of and then maybe put the living quarters underneath so there's a little layer of kind of uh, like height variation. Um, I thought that would be cool. And then I thought, you know, it'd be cool to have a viewing port from within the crew quarters even uh, underneath. So maybe we'll just have a small sitting area or something right underneath the cockpit. Maybe we don't, who knows. I haven't got that far ahead yet. All right, all right. So I got another few blocks placed and it's starting to, it definitely looks and feels like a good cockpit now. I put some antennas at the top. You know how I like to do my antennas. Um, so I've got some antennas there. I did put in some rod lights, uh, which adds a really cool effect if you fly away. Um, it makes the cockpit kind of glow from the inside, so that's really cool. So if we come up this ladder, then this is how we get into our cockpit. Um, here's our chair, of course. So I added a third button just so it's not blank there. Um, I swapped this out for a radar jammer because we definitely are going to need one. I added in an overdrive and a jump drive because we definitely are going to need those as well. Um, some displays up here, they functionally don't do anything yet. Um, we may not even put shields on this either, but we, I don't know, we probably will. Gotta expect pirate attacks, I guess, uh, in, a, in a mining vessel. Um, and that's what we've got so far. There's some charts here for moving parts. Um, the camera is in the same place. Um, a little bit of decoration behind the captain's chair, just for funsies. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we want to make it look cool. Um, this server is less... Uh, is more RP and less like it's got to work perfectly amazingly every time you know <laughs> like some servers can get um, we can actually swap these out I'm trying to use um, angly bits as often as possible so we can kind of swap these out with uh, with wedges here that'll work and then that means that these ones uh, let's see, what are they from this side? Aha, so they ha they need to remain, but that's okay. Uh, it looks a little bit better that way. So the next thing we want to do is figure out how much room are we actually going to need for living quarters. So I've got three blocks tall, which is how tall it is inside the eyes and ears, which seems like, you know, that's that's pretty fine. Um, we want to be able to access this viewing window. I'm thinking we might do a step down so that we're on this level. Now, if we do that, that puts us standing on the outside of the ship here. But I think that's okay. And we can, of course, extend the, uh, the hull further down uh, to accommodate ship systems underneath. I figured we'd use this space above for systems as well, um, but we'll probably need more systems than just that, so we'll put them underneath also. Of course, our cannon is going to be completely separate and along the side. That'll probably be just, be just cannon and thrusters. So we can do that. We can do that there. Um, for this, let's see, if we're going to step down, we kind of want to round it out a little bit, so let's set some symmetry and do like this. 
Um, I think we'll do wedges along the way. I think that'll look good. Now we'll have to figure out this weird thing um, right here. That's going to be an interesting kind of angle to figure out. So let's go ahead and figure that one. Let's see. This is going to have to be a hepta like that. And that makes this. So that'll be a hepta as well. And this, we could actually use a corner. I don't generally use a lot of corners because they add a really weird shape. But we could work that in there. Alternatively, uh, we just use one of these and put a step up inside right here. Yeah, that resolves that pretty well. And then we've got room here for more antennas if we want them. Okay, I like that. That's looking pretty good. Um, now, how are we going to do this part? So let's continue this kind of curve that we've got. Uh, okay, this one. So kind of there and there. Um, we can put our heptas in. That should still be oriented the right way like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then do we just make the sides flat? Uh, I don't see why not. We may as well just make them flat like this. Like that. Uh, let's do some wedges underneath here like this. That should line up okay. And do we put wedges here as well? I think so. Let me put another one of these there. All right, so there we've got a little bit of a shape. We could put some decorative something sticking out here. Uh, maybe not there. It would have to be here. Maybe weapons or something. That could be cool. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, though. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out the lighting in here. Um, I pretty much just light with light with white. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, because I don't, I don't like the weird colors of lighting. Uh, this is easy. We'll just put these there and there. And that gives us some light in there. Um, we could do like this as well. Yeah, that's not so bad. And that gives us enough light under here that we can, uh, that we can see out and enjoy the view. So here I'm trying to work out the door for the airlock. Uh, it's going to be similar to the one from Eyes and Ears. We're taking a lot of uh, a lot of kind of design aspects of that and trying to incorporate them into this ship as well. So there's basically where our airlock's going to be. Um, it is a small airlock, the one we've been using. Um, so there's only like one block of actual airlock space. So it's a little bit cramped. Uh, but that's okay. You know, we don't need a lot of space in here. Um, basically, we just have room for, um, here's where the docking stuff is, a door, an airlock, and another door. Um, and then the posts, you know, let us have, like, wedges and stuff, so it kind of rounds it out. And then that'll bring us into kind of this, uh, this crew quarters living area, which I guess we'll have to work on next. <laughs> Oh yeah, hologram cockpit view. <laughs> um, all right, guys, that's going to be all the time I've got for today. But thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, um, of course, as usual. And let me know um, what you think of the ship as well. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool start. Um, you know, we don't have much, but the cockpit is looking cool. And then once we get this crew quarters in, um, I think uh, it'll, it'll be really, really awesome. 